One of Canada's most popular editorial cartoonists is speaking out tonight about losing his job for criticizing Donald Trump. Michael Deatter says he's overwhelmed by all the support he's getting from around the world. CTV's Jill Makishan has more on the politics of the publisher and the disturbing image that started it all. It was that heartbreaking photo of a dead father and daughter from El Salvador, migrants who drowned trying to gain a foothold in the U.S., that inspired Michael Deatter to create this, a powerful editorial cartoon that went viral, and now Deatter's story is as well. It was like, boom, gone, you're out of here. Dumped by Brunswick News and its owners, Irving, one of Canada's richest oil families, which has a big stake in New England. Deatter said every Donald Trump cartoon he submitted to the New Brunswick publisher in the past year was axed. In a statement, Brunswick News said Deatter did not lose his contract because of the cartoon, which it never ran. The company called it a false narrative, saying it had decided weeks ago to hire another cartoonist. Deatter has been creating cartoons for Brunswick News for 17 years. The Irvings want to... Uh, put out the viewpoint they want to put out. Let's ignore Trump for a minute. I mean, they don't want cartoons uh, critical of Andrew Scheer. They don't want cartoons critical of Blaine Higgs. They don't want critical, cartoons critical of uh, uh, their bottom line. Deatter has received overwhelming support on social media, and the man who, as a boy, once drew scenes from Star Wars was praised by Luke Skywalker. Pulitzer Prize worthy, tweeted Mark Hamill, shame on us. And in support of Deatter, the Montreal Gazette's editorial cartoonist created this. Trump cartoons, and specifically the Trump cartoons that he's been producing, are provocative and are making a lot of noise around the globe. Deatter is not the first to feel pushback. A longtime editorial cartoonist with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette was fired in June, he said, for criticizing Trump. What we seem to have now increasingly is a culture in media organizations of comforting the comfortable. And this may just be another example of how uh, gun-shy, really, media organizations have become. The irony is the Deatter cartoon, which never made it into New Brunswick's papers, has now been shared around the world, seen by millions, increasing the cartoonist's profile. Omar? All right, Jill, thank you.